Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, I want to talk about big plus tooling. Not dual contact, but big plus tooling. First, let's define what dual contact tooling is. You see this everywhere in different literature and different manufacturers, people talking about offering dual contact tooling. Well, what are they referring to? What they are referring to is a tool holder that is making contact on the taper and on the bottom face of the flange. Now, standard dual contact tooling would be Big Plus, HSK, Capto, they all make contact on the taper and the bottom of the flange. But what's the difference on a steep taper tool when I talk about dual contact versus Big Plus? Big Plus tooling is all certified by Big Deshoa. What certified mean? Certified means that the manufacturer that is using the Big Plus logo and name has paid to work with Big Deshoa to get the proper gauging and tolerances to manufacture that tool to the spec they came up with when they designed it. How's that different from dual contact? Dual contact tool holders that don't reference Big Plus well, that means they don't pay any licensing fee and they don't have the true tolerances for the taper and the flange contact. Now, let's give you some of the high points for a big plus tool and then we'll come back and talk about why the dual contact may not be the best option for you. When a standard tool holder is placed into a regular spindle, this is a regular Cat 40 tool holder. I place it into a regular Cat 40 spindle. I have a gap of approximately three millimeters from the bottom of my flange to the top of my spindle face. Now, that's what you see on a large variety of older machines. As the machines have progressed from old standard Cat 40 to the more normal norm of Big Plus style, you're gonna see that the design has changed on the spindle and on the tool holder. So what they've done is they've taken a regular Cat 40 tool holder and they've added about half of that gap. We'll call it one and a half millimeters to the bottom of the flange. They've also added one and a half millimeters to the top of the spindle face. That way when this tool is pulled in, it's going to make face contact as well as taper contact on the inside. But what you have to understand are the tolerances involved to make that happen. Now I can't give you all the tolerances, but I can give you a couple of them. A regular Big Plus tool holder that's made to the true specification has an AT1 taper. Now, what's that mean? That means my angle tolerance from the gauge point to the, to the lowest point of the taper is within 1.1 micron. That is a very small amount of tolerance from the top to the bottom over the full length of that taper. To give you an idea, a standard tool holder like this has a 2.8 micron tolerance from the gauge line to the bottom. So it's significantly more open than a regular Big Plus tool holder. So what's that mean? What's the benefit of that tight tolerance and that face contact? Well, spindle speeds have increased. By increasing spindle speed, the centrifugal force on the bearings and the ID of the spindle have also increased. As the RPM increases, the material wants to stretch a little bit. If I don't have a big plus tool making contact with the face of my spindle, as that spindle opens up, my steep taper tool holder can actually pull down into the spindle and I can lose my z-axis measurement. So I'm no longer making, to the, making my parts to the proper specification that I had measured them at. 
Another benefit of a big plus type tool holder is added rigidity. Now when I have heavy side loads, I have a land to push against on the bottom of that flange. So as my tool is being pushed off to one side, it can push against the face of the spindle, making a much more rigid fit. On top of that, that AT1 taper tolerance that I have on a big plus tool means I will have improved position repeatability. That means how close will this holder repeat from tool change to tool change is improved dramatically. Let's go back and talk about that dual contact holder for a moment. So AT1 taper versus AT3, position repeatability versus a standard. Okay, what, what benefit or how often does a dual contact non-certified tool holder work? Well, the exact percentage, that's everyone's guess right there is how often it's going to work. The biggest question is going to be is, are you willing to chance it? There are three possible outcomes you have by putting a non-certified Big Plus tool into your Big Plus spindle. The best option, it actually works, it fits, it makes enough contact that you get the true benefits out of it. The next best, best option is you just make taper contact. That means it performs just like a regular non-Big Plus tool. It rides on the long steep taper of the Cat 40 tool holder in this example and it doesn't do any kind of damage. The worst possible thing that can happen is you make face contact with the bottom of the flange and you don't make proper contact with the steep taper of the tool holder. This would allow the tool holder to actually move around inside my spindle, would cause very bad fretting and vibration damage to the outside of the tool holder, and would probably also cause damage to the inside of my spindle. In today's market, most manufacturers of high-end CNC machines offer Big Plus Cat 40, BT, or even SK spindles as standard products. It comes with the machine, or you have the option to at least move up to it. So what happens on those expensive machines that you have when you don't put a big plus certified tool into that spindle. Several manufacturers have actually come out and said that the spindle will not be warrantied. They will void the warranty and they will not cover any damage that's done to that spindle. That's why it's very important to make sure that if you have a big plus spindle in your machine or you're getting one, that you only put certified big plus tooling in that machine itself. All RegoFix Rego Plus tools meet the tight requirements of the Big to Show Up Big Plus tool holder.